Hi there, this is Roger Burnley and welcome to another video. Now, I've been getting a lot of questions about how to increase range. And I have a lot of different exercises that I use to help you accomplish that. But one of the things that I wanted to do is to first give you a little understanding about how your voice creates sound to begin with because when you start to understand more of the physiology, the way that the body works, when you're applying that to when you're actually doing the exercises, it will make more sense. You'll start to gain a physical experience of that and really this will help you to increase to that range. There's so many other things that begin to happen, why people can't increase their range in terms of just tightening and pushing and all of that, but we'll get to those in, in, in other videos. But for this one, what I want to do is just get you to basically understand what happens to create sound. You create sound from your vocal cords, which you obviously know, um, and your vocal cords or vocal folds, as they're also met in the medical term, are located here at your larynx or your voice box. So, now think of this. You've all probably seen inside a piano, you know, piano strings. And if you've plucked the piano, you know that bigger, longer strings are create lower notes as you start moving up or getting higher the strings get thinner and they get shorter. If you've played a guitar, if you've plucked a guitar, you can feel that the strings on a guitar are, ba are, are you know, the lower ones, the lower notes are gonna be thicker strings. The thinner strings will create a higher pitch. Now, that is the idea that I want you to think about and start applying to your vocal cords, just that idea in itself. Now, what happens then for you to get into your upper range, the vocal cords will have to thin or shorten to create those higher pitches, just like what you think of when you're looking at a piano, plucking a guitar, you know, it's the same sort of a concept. Now, the problem though that many people will go through is that the vocal cords will not necessarily work that way effectively if you're trying to accomplish that by pushing the larynx or the voice box around too much. Sometimes you're, you're forced to do that because you're really blocked your air or you've got too much tension and all of that. So again, we'll address that in other exercises. But what I want you to, to get right now is just the idea of going into the upper parts of your range, allowing, and that's a very important concept for you to get, allowing the vocal cords themselves to thin or to shorten to try to do that. Now I'm gonna um, play one of my exercises uh, that it will start to hopefully give you a little idea of what's happening and I'll explain this as I'm going through it. So I'm gonna stop and go back and forth but I want you to get a sense of this, okay. I'm just gonna do this on an um, ah sound. Ah, ah, ah. As I'm going up there, what I'm thinking, well, you know, because this helps too. I fortunately I'm not in the position, you know, I'm not used to anymore. I used to quite a bit. I'm not pushing up to try to get there. All I'm doing is thinking that I'm just allowing the vocal cords here to get thinner as I go higher. Never pushing to get there, right? Ah, ah, hear that? Ah, the cords are getting thinner there. I'm allowing that to happen. And don't worry, you may not be able to do it this way in the beginning, but with the other exercises and, and some practice, you will. But I just need you to get the concept right now. Ah, Thin. I'm allowing that to happen, not feeling that I'm pushing again to get there. Ah, ah, 
I went into another different area or different part of my range. And in other videos, we'll start to talk about the ranges as well, okay? But again, all I want you to do is just start to understand the concept of what happens to create those higher notes. As we move on and start adding these to some of the other exercises you, you're doing, just having that intellectual understanding will help you and it'll hopefully stop you from forcing and trying to get it to go there. It will build in time. So hope you really enjoyed this video and if you want more information about my program, uh, Singing Made Simple, there is a link bef below this video so you can check out that information as well. Okay, and till the next time, I'll see you then. Enjoy.